Hi, is this Dr. Esselstyn? Speaking. Dr. Esselstyn, my name is uh, Mike Giuliano. I'm giving you a call back from up in Canada. You called me yesterday? Oh, yeah. How are you? I have no idea what it was about. I got hundreds of these calls, so... Oh, okay. Um, well, I believe I had sent out an email to whomever takes care of your emails about my mother and uh, helping her get rid of her diabetes medication. And um, I had contacted you, I guess, with some questions and just general interest, I guess, in what you're doing as well. Um, do you do you deal with the diabetes or the heart disease specifically? Uh, usually it's heart disease, but often what happens is that many of the patients that we see with heart disease have diabetes. Right. And it's a, it's a simultaneous treatment. That is, is a, how, uh, how old is your mother, how tall is she, and what does she weigh? Uh, she's about 58, she's 5'4", and I she, I don't know her exact weight, to be honest with you, but she's probably about... Yeah, well, obviously that's what, what has to be done with her. She's got to get... Is she committed to this? And was she willing to, willing to change? Because uh, diabetes is a, it's a foodborne illness. It is, yeah. Yeah, what? what she's done is she's get, you know she's gained enough weight, so there's now enough fat in your muscle cells that the muscle cells, when they want to consume insulin, the insulin cannot get the glucose into the muscle cell because of all the fat. But as they digest that out, but uh, no, we'd be happy to see her once a month. I conduct an intensive counseling seminar for these patients, and uh, it's done at the Cleveland Clinic Institute. Uh, well, at the Cleveland Clinic Wellness Institute, and my the person who orchestrates all of this is my wonderful secretary Jacqueline Fry, F R E Y, and her phone number is on the, I think the website. Yep. So, uh, you know, if if your mom wants help, but we don't. I mean, I have no interest in counseling somebody who merely wants to slow the rate of disease progression. We have to have a shared vision that the goal here is to annihilate this disease, and either you or or, or her spouse or whoever you care for comes with her uh, comes for free. Oh, okay. Okay, wow. Wow. Okay. Now, can I ask you a quick follow-up question, Dr. Esselstein? I, my, my background is I, I took a, a university degree in Canada in general health sciences. Um, yeah. I was thinking I was going to be a doctor, and then I didn't, I didn't like the focus on treatment and medicine. I wanted to focus more on prevention. And so yeah. I, changed, yeah. I changed direction. I tried personal training and a few other things. Yeah. It didn't really interest me as much, um, but once once I came across all this information of yourself and Dr. Barnard and Dr. Ornish, and I've been yeah. re researching like crazy for the past year or two, just on my own personal time, and that's how I got my mother. My mother's not on her diabetes medication anymore. I I went home and I taught her the diet, and I ate with her for a week or two, and then I left her with it. And um, she's actually lost probably already about twenty pounds. Uh, and she's off of everything except her metformin right now, um, just but just with diet. So I guess my question was, wh how can I get into something where I'm specifically helping people with heart disease or diabetes at this point? I have a. Ba well, it helps if you it helps if you can get some sort of a degree, whether it's a, either in dietetics, which of course the dietetic schools will teach you all the wrong things, but you I know. can sort of hold your hold your nose while you go through. And then at least you've got a, uh, a degree, which is a portal of entry to get you started into some avenue, which is, uh, you know, give you, it'll give you more credentialing than just somebody who's passionate about it. Can you, can you actually take schooling where they're teaching you something in a certain principle and then you choose your own principle to teach? Because I would be kind of following uh, more, more your guidelines as opposed to what I'm being taught, I guess, or Dr. Barnard or whomever I choose to... Uh, look into, I guess, right? Well, Pam, uh, Pam Popper and, uh, has, a, has a course. She's in Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Pam Popper, and she has a course also. Uh, uh, there's another course. Uh, Colin Campbell, China Study Guy, he's a friend of mine. He has an e-Cornell course that helps. I actually looked that up, actually. I looked that up to something to add on, actually, if I chose to uh, do that. Those are just a couple of thoughts, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm thinking. Well, I'm thinking about taking holistic nutrition to become a nutritionist in that sense. And yeah, but, but when you do, remember you're probably going to be taught something that really is not. 
I know. Very reliable, but then uh, that's all right. You, once you got the degree, then you can uh, carry on. Because basically, some of them are coming around, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I need, I, I do need that degree. Otherwise, I can't legally help people. So that's my only reason why I would do it. Oh, I would agree. I would agree. Yeah. Okay. Do you offer anything, Dr. Esselstyn, at all? Where do you have any kind of training uh, that you do for people if they already were a nutritionist or a naturopath? That uh, you would offer any kind of specific training on helping people with heart disease? Well, what we offer uh, for physicians is a uh, if they come in an apprentice and sit sit through our same five hour course, we're able to give them CME credits and uh, probably a certificate. Uh, for having been there, you know. Okay, so I would we're have hoping, to... We're hoping to get that set up by next year. By next year. And that would require being a naturopathic or a general practitioner, a doctor, basically? Uh, that, 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 probably. That hasn't kind of been worked out, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I was just in Ontario, and I lectured to the uh, Ontario naturopathic physicians oh, a couple of weeks ago. Actually, a good friend of mine is in that class. Her name was Tara, and she told me you were there, actually. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Did I, her? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> so, well, I'll tell you, if, if you ever, it'd be great if you could do any open events in Canada. I'm not sure if that was an open event. I wasn't aware of that one, but um, it'd be great to hear you speak, too. Thank you so much for your support. I hope we can help your mom. Yeah, no, I appreciate that you took the time to call me back yourself. That was pretty... Hi pretty amazing actually so um anyways okay well thank you very much for the informa information and uh take care